absolutely right. So we're taking a look at these rain bands really whipping around. In fact, I just had our Colton Chavez. He reached out to me because he's trying to move a little bit closer to the coast. Uh, Trent, while you're over there, if you don't mind reaching out to him, he had some follow-up questions for me. So he was going to be right along Benita Beach Road. And as those rain bands are lifting to the north, you have this brief period right here of where you're going to not see the rain. But it's not going to be long-lived. As you zoom out of the map right here, you have plenty of rain bands that are going to whip right back around the system and they're going to keep hammering the southwest Florida coastline. Uh, so right now, if you maybe needed to um, get that way, Colton and Karen, now's the time to move. As we get closer to landfall time, that's where conditions are really going to deteriorate even more and they're going to start going downhill. Um, I do know that our producers and our anchors, you guys were asking a little bit about the rainfall total. So let me put that into perspective for you uh, really quickly. So if we could do the rainfall totals over the past 24 hours, because we started to see those most outer bands uh, from Ian that was going to start yesterday. Uh, the last time I checked, isolated areas, it was going to be near Port of the Islands. We're seeing between seven and eight inches of rain. It was the same closer to Immokalee, about six to seven inches of rain. It wasn't all too impressive through the Cape Coral, Fort Myers area. That's because they had only seen, last time I checked, that was about three inches of rain. Uh, before we do a new check of all of the rainfall, I'm being told that we have a live look at the Luminary Hotel camera. Let's take it right here. We show you this live look every single morning. It's usually absolutely gorgeous right now. It looks like I have just a gray sheet right in front of you, and that is because that area is dealing with heavy rain bands that are just being dumped across Fort Myers and Cape Coral. Uh, this view right here, it sits right on top of the Luminary Hotel in the North Fort Myers area, and it looks into North Fort Myers. It looks into Cape Coral. Because the rain is so heavy right now, you can't even tell what you're looking at. Typically, you could see the bridge right there. Uh, we had Elise Changeri. She was going to be in the Punta Rossa area. She saw such uh, heavy rainfall and gusty conditions, and people were still trying to drive over the bridge. I can't see any lights right here, and I hope that is not the case. Uh, I've been texting some loved ones here, been talking to people here who are also trying to get in contact with their loved ones. I've been telling them all the same message. Now is not the time to get on the roadways. If you haven't left yet, we're starting to see those conditions go downhill. It's time to stay inside. All right, let's get back to the 24 hour rainfall total. So let's take a look at the updated numbers. Isolated areas near Port of the Island still seeing just under eight inches of rain. The biggest difference I can see right now going to be in Naples uh, before they were not seeing anything like this. They're seeing about six and a half inches of rain over the past 24 hours. Uh, we'll take a look over here in Immokalee. So this uh, a bit uh, different here as well. Six inches of rain. Some areas seeing maybe about half an inch or more right there. And right where we just gave you that. Over the past 24 hours. Uh, so again, uh, the rainfall is just one of many of the